We begin our tour here in front of the Cal Athletics Hall of Fame, established in 1986 and now prominently displayed at Memorial Stadium. Here in 1918, Walter A. Gordon became the first All-American football player in the history of the University of California, an honor that should be widely known at Cal, but neither the honor nor the man receives the attention so rightfully deserved. From 1916 to 1918, Gordon was the star athlete of the Cal varsity football team in every sense of the word. Incredibly, he played both the offensive and defensive lines, and he didn't stop there. He excelled at wrestling and boxing, and even won the Pacific Coast Heavyweight Collegiate Boxing Championship. Although he experienced these successes and accolades, he suffered humiliation when traveling with his teammates on the road, as he was not allowed to lodge with the white players. Nevertheless, he didn't let these experiences warp his spirit. Along with his incredible feats in athletics, Gordon founded the Alpha Epsilon chapter of the first African-American Greek fraternity on campus, Alpha Phi Alpha. In the realm of academics, Gordon demonstrated the same kind of determination as he did in athletics. After graduating with his AB degree, what we now call Bachelor of Arts, he decided to study law. At the same time, the city of Berkeley's first police chief knew of Gordon's high moral character and asked him to join the force. Gordon accepted but this set in motion a brutal daily schedule with his time divided between law school, the police force, and coaching the Cal football team. In fact, his wife Mary Elizabeth described his brutal daily schedule in her own oral history interview in 1978. She said he worked as a police officer from midnight to 8 a.m., studied law until noon, then went back to campus to coach football before coming home for dinner. He never once complained. Gordon became the first black graduate of UC Berkeley's law school, receiving his Juris Doctor degree in 1922. After serving as a police officer, he went on to become a federal judge and the governor of the Virgin Islands. Gordon was a devoted husband and father and received numerous accolades during his lifetime. He died at the age of 81 in 1976. 